in business, any type of communication is important. And I think that the more kind of communication skills that you have, be it may different language uh, or, you know, having body language or having, you know, confidence. I mean, these are and also being able to read between the lines. I think it's all of this is really important to understanding how things go. And I think with business, especially a lot of it is unspoken. So whether or not, you know, it's just like having a backpack full of gadgets, you know, and the more, you know, if you can say, if you can speak English and you can speak Japanese and you can speak Chinese and French and German, then obviously your chances of succeeding would be higher because you have more communication skills. And I think that, you know, it, it, get out of your comfort zone is also something that you have to continuously remind yourself because if you're already proficient in Chinese and you keep on using Chinese, that doesn't improve anything. And, you know, I think that you have to have a thirst for knowledge and a thirst for learning. And that's probably why a lot of students are here. And so really try to apply yourself. And, you know, I think one way of learning languages that could be really good is to have to find a girlfriend or boyfriend that speaks English or speaks French that that way you can learn languages much faster or comic books. You know, I learned Chinese through reading Dragon Ball comics because that's what I was interested in and that's what I wanted to do. So again, you just have to be into something. Just like find something you're into. Interesting thing that I, I thought of always and you know, this is pertinent to maybe Li Ka Xing because I read an interview that he, he said was that we each have 24 hours in a day and roughly, you know, we spend eight hours a day sleeping or resting and you spend eight hours a day in your day job and then you have eight hours that's extra. What you do with that extra eight hours of the day really determines your future. Now, if you spend, you know, four out of the eight hours hanging out or, you know, doing nothing, then that might not be good. But if you spend that extra hour maybe reading an extra book or doing extracurricular activities or learning something or, you know, running a side job, that goes to you, you know? And so don't waste time too, as much as you have time, don't waste it. For some reason, I always felt like I was gonna die young. So I always had this urgency to do everything really quickly. And I think that, you know, having patience is also something that I've developed as a virtue over the years. As much as, you know, don't waste time, but I just think that don't over worry as well, you know, because everything will fall into place. You know, as much as the young people right now are thinking, oh, what should I do with my life? You know, even if you, you know, there's no right or wrong answer, right? Even if you work at a desk job or, you know, you do something at a corporation, that doesn't mean that's the end of the world, you know? Everyone's path is different. So I might not have the right path or maybe I fail in a lot of other things that people excel in, you know? Some people choose to have families early or some people choose their work or they choose to give back to the community. So it doesn't, there's no real set formulas. Enjoy the journey because I think oftentimes people just see the end goal and see the end result, but you also have to enjoy and be grateful every day of life and the smaller things that make up who you are.